Hello everyone, this is uh, Derek Yasha. Um, right now it is uh, 1.16 in the morning. And of course I wanted you to bring this video, but um, probably it'll be the next day or the next night. But of course, uh, tell you how I got into Bram Stoker's Dracula and of course Marginal Awakens Romance. You know, my two favorite franchises, you know. My favorite, no wait, my favorite movie and my favorite anime, of course. You know, um, what are other than these two, of course, and I'll show you the back of the covers, yes, you know. Sorry for the glare, people. Yeah, this is the Bare Bones DVD, by the way. And this is all the episodes of Marchants, you know. But, uh, yeah, you know. Um, first of all, let me talk about Bram Stoker's Dracula, alright. How I got into this movie, alright, first of all, um, I was reading the little comic strip in Game Pro, um, in the year 2000, I believe I was 10 or 11 years old at the time, maybe 10. Um, of course, the, the Conqueror's Bad Fur Day uh, short comic strip was a parody of this. Now, of course, that, you know, Conquer was Keanu Reeves and Dracula was, um, Conquer's uncle, but uh, his name was Conquer. Okay, so yeah. Um, basically, um, Conquer went into the mansion, or Dracula's castle, or Conquer's castle. And of course, that, uh, you know, a uh, 10 year old mind seeing furry titties for the first time ever. And of course, seeing, uh, you know, squirrel uh, horn. And comic form, of course, well, not showing the penetration, but you know, um, squirrel titties. It was kind of weird, okay? And then, you know, me figuring out about Bram Stoker's Dracula, you know. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I seen this movie, I did not like it, you know. Um, mainly because, uh, my mom had a problem with the movie. And then, of course, I had to give it back to Best Buy. But then later on, I would buy it, you know. And, you know, look and behold, you know. But, um, yes, I know there's a part of Dorothy in there. Yes, I know people. But that's how much I like Dorothy. Okay. So, yeah. You know, um, loved the movie ever since, you know. Very good movie. Movie gets five out of five, and it's my favorite movie of all time. My favorite movie. I think no other movie can be, you know, Bram Stoker's Dracula, in my opinion. In my opinion, people, all right? And then I'll just tell you how I got into, you know, this bad boy, Marchants, okay? Um, you know, um was waiting for Prince of Tennis to come on Tsunami, alright. So, when the Prince of Tennis came on, um, I was disappointed in the Prince of Tennis. Garbage anime, alright. Seriously, garbage. And, you know, Mare was a lot better than that fucking bullshit Mar, March and Awakens romance, you know. But, uh, you know, I really don't know, you know, because I was really looking forward to Prince of Tennis, but in the end, <laughs> it's just funny, though, because this anime came out of nowhere, and I thought this was going to be, you know, just another generic anime, shonen, shonen anime, but no, it was not a shonen anime, uh, you know, this was a very awesome anime, you know, and of course, I'll show you the discs, okay. So yeah, you know, you'll get the same picture on each disc of, you know, the Ginta and the Yang. Okay. So yes, I know this is the, the Japanese dub, but I don't care, you know. This was the only way I was going to get to watch the show, you know, because they canceled it on Tsunami. So, you know, um, I just appreciate both of these. I'm not going to lie. I appreciate them. They're both my favorite franchises, you know, that's what, uh, you know, fucking made me too, you know, kind of this movie in a way, but, you know, um, 
they're both unique in their own way, you know? Like, Dracula is just actually about, you know, Dracula, you know, being hurt about his uh, loved wife that he got taken away from him. And, of course, by a fake la letter from the Turfs, or the Serfs, whatever the fuck their names are. You know, and, of course, Marchant is about this kid named Ginta Tornizu of the age of 14, who is, you know, just wanting to go to this fantasy world and not caring about the real world, but then he realizes, hey, I want to go back to the real world after he goes to Mars. So, yeah, people, you know, just telling you straight off the bat, you know, I think for me, you know, I'm not going to lie, BSD um, is an entertaining movie, and of course that you got a great cast in it as well, you know, and, you know, Marchants, you know, Mar has, you know, interesting characters in it. You know, there's t some two characters that, you know, I fucking hate, but the rest is interesting, you know? Um, fucking, uh, Nanashi, Elvis, and my favorite, Dorothy, you know, Snow, uh, Rollin, and Halloween, uh, and many more, you know? But, um, Gita, I fucking hated in the anime, but in the manga, I loved him, all right? Not in a gay way, though. Um, you know, uh, in the anime, he's just a fucking dickhead. Seriously, he's a fucking dick. So, you know, um, other than that, you know, um, I'll just uh, review the anime after this. So, yeah, let me cut this off here.